So we're here at the MediaTek press event right here. Right. And the uh, MediaTek is pretty big, no? Yeah, we're 11,000 people worldwide now. 11,000 people? Yep. And uh, are you number one in number of chips sold in smartphones? I think we're, I think we're the number two in smartphones and uh, after Qualcomm. So you're not in front of Qualcomm in the, in the number of chips? Not, not, in the, not in smartphone chips. We are the leader in, for instance, in, t in the TV market and a bunch of other consumer industries. So I would say that you know, we're the consumer market leader if you aggregate everything together in, uh, you know, in the world. So you have a keynote in a couple of days, and uh, what are you going to talk about? You know, I'm going to talk about IoT, but more importantly, you know, what's happening and what's, what are the changes in society that will trigger all these different you know, user behavior changes and other things that will drive demand for IoT. There will be lots of new you know, device structures and different things happening in the market, and I will talk about that and how we, how we apply our thoughts to them. How can you uh, imagine what's going to come in the future? It's not very easy, no? Well, I think you have to start from the top down. You have to look at you know, how the world is changing, right? For instance, you know, all the people in the world now are, you know, the planet's getting more equal in terms of people getting disposable income and in what used to be emerging countries, for instance. So, so I think we have a much more globalized market than we used to have, which means a lot more opportunity. Which means that the IoT markets are not only in Europe and the US, they are everywhere, you know? And there will be sensors in every continent, everywhere. Yeah. In developing countries. Well, I think maybe, you know, if you look at mobile, the mobile industry, it actually grew a lot faster in the emerging part of the world than in the developed part of the world once it started to be sold, you know, networks started to be built. And that may well happen with IoT as well, because the infrastructure is all based on wireless in some of these places. Uh, so we'll see, but uh, I definitely, uh, I expect a very rapid uptake of IoT, very different IoT and new applications to markets that are outside of the traditional market, for if sure. If all these countries are going to build a, an infrastructure for the first time, might as well be a smart one. So they could get smart bridges and smart buildings yeah, and exactly. smart and everything. They, they, and they will. The same they will, yeah, they will I, I skip, I they will go directly to I, I believe that. You know, the same thing, they, they skip digging in the ground because they can put in wireless broadband. So I think you will see a lot of fast IoT adoption. You know, smart cities, smart homes, uh, automotive, etc. All over the place. So, so today, MediaTek, you announced uh, two new uh, chips for gateways. IoT gateways, right? Yes. But there's already a lot of presence in IoT for MediaTek, or is it starting? Oh, I think our position is, is very good for, for the coming IoT industries. And it's not just one market. You know, if you look at it, it's smart home, certainly a big one. You got, you know, the, uh, the smart cities is another one. You got a lot of industrial applications. You got automotive applications. So there are a lot of different, different markets. But because we have a big strength in consumer electronics, we have all the multimedia we need for the smart home. We also have all the connectivity things you need for the wide area stuff, as well as for you know, the short haul stuff. So we, we certainly have a, a very good portfolio. But the thing also that you, you shouldn't forget is you need an ecosystem. You need to actively work with developers and provide them with help, application support, test support. And so we, we're doing that as well. You can't just have the, the chips. So how many of those 11,000 employees do you dedicate to supporting? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I can but tell you there's a lot of them. Thousands, of, thousands. Because you have to support every chip. Thousands. And like for yeah. years and years, right? Yeah. And software updates, yeah. it's In not easy. Interestingly, Minitech, you know, we pioneered the, the manufacturable design, the turnkey design, uh, with our, you know, last decade with our GSM feature phone chips, which, you know, 10 years when ago. When was that? It's 10 years ago. 10 years ago, MediaTek came with GSM. Yeah, I think, I think like the products might have come out, you know, maybe in, uh, in uh, 05 or 07, something like that. You know, MediaTek acquired uh, analog devices, GSM. But more importantly, MediaTek put together turnkey manufacturable reference design so you can go very quickly to market. And that's exactly what we've done with smartphones as well. So part of the success in smartphones is the great chips that we have, like the X20 now and the, the P10 that we announced today, but also the fact that we're taking this manufacturable turnkey concept to the smartphone industry, to the smartphone market, making it much easier to make smartphones. So thanks to MediaTek and this turnkey solution, there's a whole bunch of guys in Shenzhen, they can just launch smartphones well, every, and it just works? Anybody can make it, but I mean, yes, you have the opportunity for more people to do it, but also the big guys can do things faster, not just the small guys. So everybody wins, right? They have to compete still for the business. So. And uh, since uh, a few months ago, you had this nice partnership going on with Google on the Android One. 
sure. And uh, so now there's good Android support, better and better yeah, and better and better, right? Yeah. And getting updates for years and years. That'd be great. It'd be fantastic if every smartphone chip got updates forever, right? Yeah, I mean, we're doing a lot of things with Google. You know, we, we announced Google TV, uh, you know, CES this year. And we, we work on smartphones. We work on a lot of different things. But certainly, yes. And that's our ambition. Our ambition is to make people able to produce, manufacture, design new things as quickly as possible, bring it to market, and then for the end user to have as easy an upgrade and use of these things as possible. Another thing uh, that we did, you know, we announced at CES and we looked at today was cross-mount, which is an ability for each device to discover the resources for our software of other devices around them and actually then distribute functionality. So you can actually look at many devices together acting as one. It's kind of like a mesh? Yeah, in a way, but not in a it's physical, a not in a communication physical way, but more in a, in a logic way. So if you have, you know, certain devices able to play sound in this way, pitch in this way, you can easily move your sound from one device to the other, vice versa. Uh, use your camera on the phone, you know, the input in the TV, heart rate monitor watch in the TV, or in a, so I, it's just a, a method for being able to share uh, different kinds of media between devices in a much, much easier way. So it has to be standardized, all the different types yeah, of media. Yeah, we have a standard that we provide It's already standard for videos like this, audio It's, it's like not this. just video, it's for anything, and it's coming yeah. to IoT as well. And this is also important because it reduces uh, redundancy. You don't have to put the same hardware in every device in your house, for instance. So it's a, it's a good thing. So uh, IoT is a big deal and it has to be done the right way. Yes. So uh, <laughs> you're part of all these different uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, platforms. Are you trying? Yeah, I mean, we're 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 neutral in that sense. We're part of the OIC, but the OIC is open. We don't dictate protocols the same way as certain other platforms do. Yeah. Embed, ARM embed. Yeah, so we're working with ARM. We work with the OIC. We work with a lot of different things. We are definitely for you know an open open market. Open yeah. source would be nice, right? Yeah, free, I mean, free. Yeah, we provide. A, if you look at our reference boards, uh, we support Arduino today. For the maker movement, it's all open source. So, uh, a lot. Oh, everything is everything at MediaTek is ARM based. There are some things that I think are based on different processors, but I would say the absolute majority is ARM. -based. So there's a very good partnership going on there, right? Oh yeah, we we we're, we're very strong partners. I have been for many years. And ARM is pretty awesome, right? It enables. Uh, a nice ecosystem in this market. In oh, this, yeah, I mean, I've been, planet, work, right? I've been working with the ARM guys for 20, 25 years now, so different <laughs> companies, yeah. and uh, they've always been, been there providing good support. So, yeah, for sure.